Yeah, and up to 15 of them. And so we're looking at time also. Uh, the number of questions we could take, they think it's rude working out on the uh, ticket. So, um, just bear that in mind. So one of the ways you can help us is ask a question. We just one question, not multiple questions. Um, at some point, we will have to review the number of people. Um, but for now, I'm going to call on Kenny. He's the proprietor of GBKMFN, a radio station here, to ask his question. He's also a media man. Thank you very much. It's a privilege to be in this gathering today. I've learned a lot. Uh, my question, I'm going to be brief. If given the opportunity, will you be willing to sit with Nigeria on the round table for a peaceful discussion, given what One family. Good afternoon, sir. I'm so privileged to see you today physically. Uh, my name is Tina Takem, and I'm from uh, English Cameroon. Wow. 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 But I say, I'm an Amazonian. Wow. Sir, may you live long? Yeah. Yeah. I may Biafra have their independence. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say that from a very young age, I remember my grandfather telling me that during the Biafra war, a lot of Igbo people came into English Cameroon, Ambazonia, and we were by their side. In fact, I grew up, went to school, I have Igbo classmates, we have Igbo market, we have Igbo quarter. My question that is pushing me to talk to you today, sir, when our leaders, came to Nigeria to plan, because we realized that all the democracy from these white people is fake democracy. So we decided to take our destiny by force. Because independence, you cannot wait for people to give you independence. You take it by force. That is what we are doing right now. And our own zoo, stupid, I don't know how to qualify him, animal of a president, he's on his knees. Because even the most little children know their identity. They are happy to tell you at any second of the day, I am an Ambazonian. I am no longer a Cameroonian. That is what I am missing in our Biafran community. Wow. Wow. Most of us seated here, in this country, we have used IPOB to take our something. To collect our something in our pocket. It's IPOB. But when you will call for a meeting, they are not here. So as an African, I am feeling like we are losing it. Mr. Wari, no, no, Mr. Jibri, what? I don't know. This Fulani, Ziausa, he had the audacity to catch our leaders and send them back into Cameroon. So what are you thinking? What are you thinking about Amazonia? I, I, I sometimes I think, I want to know your thoughts, sir. I want to know your thoughts because I know that you are in this field for a long time. I think the first thing we need to do, right from home, because from Canada on the TV, I can watch your, 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 your speeches, I can be inspired, I know who I am, I know what I stand for. But what are we teaching the new children at home? I think we should start by telling these children who they are, because I think the media has brainwashed them to forget that these are Biafra children. Biafra has suffered a lot. You people have lost a lot to even have a lukewarm attitude. We need to take the independence by force. That is my opinion. Do I need to respond to that? Yes. Yes. I think it's very clear, isn't it? Yes. Yes. I'm actually very happy. Maybe I should um, take permission from my wife to take her with me wherever I go. <laughs> so she'll be speaking to people. When I go, she will talk to our people. 
we don't know the meaning of freedom. We don't understand it. We think because we fought a war and lost, because of that we should be slaves forever. That was the attitude of the slaves they brought to this part of the world. That is the reason why a black African is the only domesticated animal in the history of humanity. It's the truth. You may not like it, but it's the truth. Only an African man allowed himself to be trained like a farm animal because he lacked dignity and honor to appreciate that some things are better than life itself. My dear sister, I am part and parcel of the Ambazonian movement all the way from London. I have spoken to some of your leaders. But um, I'm going to do a program in Chicago and a lot to be revealed. Somebody mentioned um, Niger Delta South South. They went and duped the Ambazonians, took money from them and did nothing. I was expecting them to rise up and campaign for the release of the leaders of Ambazonia when Zoo captured them. The mistake that they made from Ambazonia was to travel to the northern part of the zoo. They should have come to Biafra land. We have protection would have been provided for them. I have spoken to their leaders, as I said, and they are part and parcel of what we are trying to accomplish. That nations must emerge from the colonial contraptions built by the Europeans. Because some of you don't know one simple logic. When I give you a name, I control you. That was why Muhammad Ali changed his name from Cassius Clay to Muhammad Ali. Most of the very conscious African Americans, when they were freed as slaves, took up African names or took up not African names, but um, should I say Islamic names. The fact that a white man created Nigeria, listen carefully, makes you his property forever and ever. As long as you preserve that name, Nigerian, you are lower than an animal. Simple logic, common sense. Look at India. After their independence, they changed the names of their cities to what they know it to be. You're telling me that a white man can come from Europe, go to Africa and say, you, 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 from today, your name is Nigeria. And you stupidly and foolishly stand up to say, I am a proud Nigerian. There is something wrong with your brain. <laughs> half of Yoruba people are in Benedetto. I said half. Yoruba can make a very strong nation. A Yoruba and a Rudua nation. Why are you fighting and dying for the boundaries drawn by a white man? I'm asking black people. That shows you're inferior. And that is what Biafra has come to change. They may not like it, but it is going to happen. Biafra is going to be free. And Ambazonia will be free as well.